Hello everybody, welcome to a video, new video. This one is going to be really short um, and the text here explains all about what this video is going to be about. So uh, with the release of the Cadence Blocks 3.0, they've said that they've integrated the new clamp feature and the clamp is um, <clears throat> something that makes your if you're using clamp to set your font size, for example, it will make it more responsive by default. And that's also the explanation that they give you. Um, so this means if you use one of, let me open up the, edit the page settings. <coughs> I'm sorry. So here is the, just the default advanced text block. This is an H2. Um, and I've used the, you will have noticed probably that they have those default font sizes by now. Um, you can also fill in a fixed value like this if you click on this icon. Now I have 32 pixels. This will this mean it will not use the clamp function and it will just be always 32 pixels. And if it's if it gets too big, I have to go to mobile and then set a custom size here. Yeah. If you don't use this and you use their um, presets, so you have medium, large, then extra large and so forth, it will you can always click on it to see what it actually is so 3xl is 80 pixels um, but if you use this one this will use the new clamp function so if i i'll set it to two times xl click on update then click on view page so you see this text here and if i now inspect this we make this a bit bigger you will see that the font size is now a variable and the variable is the global kb font size xxl so that's the one i set and if we click on this you can see these are all the the small medium large extra large and so forth uh, you can see what it actually means so it's a clamp of 2.5 rems the middle value has a view width of it this means it will dynamically resize according to the width of the the viewport so now we have a viewport of 1430 pixels so 3.626 times the view width plus one point let's round it to 1.5 rem so by default it will will have uh, try to get this font size but once it's it reaches four rems so this means the bigger my screen gets the screen size gets the bigger the font will get because it adds 3.26 times the view width. So the wider the screen becomes, the larger the text will become. But the advantage with clamp is that you can set a minimum, a preferred width or of size, and then also a maximum size. So this means once the view width is coming so big that it's going over four rims, it will stop expanding. Same time, same thing for smallest size. If the view is getting smaller. I don't know if it's obvious to you guys, but you see this is way smaller, the, the font size. Then when I increase, you see this is way bigger. This is going to be more obvious with like really big fonts like this one. And I have not set anything else. So this is just one size. I've I checked the extra large font size and I didn't set anything for mobile or for tablet. And still you see, once my view width is getting smaller, you see the text is getting smaller as well. But it will not go up, up below 2.5 rems because the clamp is set to 2.5 rems at the minimum and maximum of 4. So that means it will, you still have some control about that it doesn't get like super, super small. And at the same time, if it, the screen gets bigger, so if you go bigger and bigger, so this is a monitor now of a 4K monitor of 2. 2560 pixels here you see it's four rims and it will not get any bigger now because it's already at the maximum allowed value here yeah so if i would change this to another value let's say 10 rims you will see now that the text is getting bigger so now i've set the maximum to 10 rims so if the screen gets even bigger let's make this um, 4000 for example the text is still getting uh, bigger because of the new feature and then it starts to decrease 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 until it's becoming 2.5 rems so this is if i set this to four rems again like it was this is the maximum it will get by default with the settings of cadence just to show you if i make this nine you see it can get bigger but it won't cross the border of nine rems so this is the clamp feature the only thing is that these settings are not readily available for us uh, but just know this is the preferred width in the middle 
and it will also try to it will always try to get this one by default but once it crosses one of the borders so the minimum or the maximum it will stop shrinking or it will stop growing depending on the width of the screen so this is the new feature so now it's still on nine ramps so you see it's still getting bigger when i make it the screen size bigger so hope this was helpful so by default if you use let me open up once some more if i open up the page let me close this off and i check a text block an advanced text block of cadence and i use one of these settings this means you have used the new clamp settings if you do a fixed value if i just make it 48 pixels which is the same as an extra large font but i'm not using extra large i'm using the 48 like a fixed value if i open up the page again click on inspect you see font size 48 pixels so now we don't have this variable anymore and this means it stays 48 pixels even if my screen gets smaller you see now it's going across more lines than it was because now it can't uh, shrink and it also will not get bigger if my screen gets bigger so if you don't use anything sp uh, specific and you want to make it a little bit more responsive by default just use the new settings of uh, cadence and then you will integrate the clamp inside of your website and this will help you to get some more responsive uh, font sizes just by uh, default thanks for watching see you in the next one Thank you.